இனி தமிழ்நாடு ஏழு ரிவர் காவேரி ரிவர் ஸோ ஒன்ஸ் அப்பான் ஏ டைம் ஒன் எயிட்டி இயர் ஓல்டு பர்சன் சாதி ஹி வாஸ் கோயிங் டு டேக் மார்னிங் ஷாப் மார்னிங் பாஸ் இந்த ரிவர் ஃபோர் ஏஎம் So when you are going there, one of the seniors who was 90 years old, he was returning after Christian Bhagavan. So he would have gone there at 3 a.m. So both of these never start to each other. So Ender Fellow told the Ender Fellow, what are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? So Ender Fellow told, sir, I am 80 years old. What is there to do now? I am just waiting for message and I will go. So, Elder Fellow told, you are a fantastic fellow. Are you sure that whatever you can do, you are done? He says, no, it's not like that. I wanted to write a book on Tamil grammar. But I am 80 years old. This book takes about uh, 5 to 6 years to write. I don't know whether I start or I don't start, whether I live that far or I do not live that far. The senior fellow told me, if that book is to be written, you will live till this book is complete. So he told me, buddy, till the God's work, what he wants you to do, complete, you will live. Today, Dr. Kalam has departed. He must be smiling from heaven because I am doing that work which he left for me by being here and talking to others. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Sir, may I take Sabah Sakhar after? Yes. Sir, I want to join Indian Army, but sir, my parents want me to uh, become an IAS. Uh, so, sir, I uh, believe my parents uh, as a god. So, uh, what should I do, uh, sir? I should listen to my god or I should uh, listen to myself, sir? See, the simple answer to your question is, if your parents are not there, you are not there. Okay. So, prefer the wish of your parents over your own wish. When you are a child, that time you tell him if you are a good guy, then your son will come and tell you that I want to become, I want to go to army. Then you don't tell, don't tell him that you become army. But this time, you obey your parents and next time when your children come to you, you obey them. Then you are a good guy. Thank you, sir. Sir, in your interaction with Dr. Kalam, has he ever told you about any reform that should be brought in IAS uh, officers or anything that might be done? Can we share that? Yeah, yeah, no problem. He told that IAS is the spinal cord of this country. <laughs> Having said that, if there is a slip disc in that spinal cord, this country will be in deep pain. So this spinal cord has to be healthy. That is the sum and substance of IAS. Because if anything goes in IAS, whole country will go in deep pain. You join IAS, be aware of that. You cannot, you are not becoming IAS to give a slip disc pain to this country. Because you are the backbone of this country. Don't become the backbone if you have any idea. The country backbone is very important. It has to be healthy. Yeah, we have highest respect because if IAS is not there, politicians are there, they are there. If the IAS, Indian Administrative Service, Indian Civil Service, that means this country. And if this IAS and IPS, if the spinal cord is cracked, then India, 
most powerful country on earth. Our problems are within ourselves. They are not outside ourselves. That outside also we only created. Okay. So all problems are in ourselves. This IAS is the backbone of the country. No denial of that fact. You see thousand, four thousand officers. They run this country. If they are Punjabi, if they are Marxists, then who can stop India in being a developed nation? Every politician will follow you. Even now they follow you. Even now they follow you. A good IAS officer know how to get people in order from a minister, making minister feel that it is he who is giving that order. That is the secret of IAS. They run this country. Good evening, sir. I'm with my age. Yes, sir. A common man became people president of India and middle man of India yes. and a great Mahatma of India. Yes. I think that how it possible for Abdul Kalam to become a great person in India? Can you say so? It is not possible for him. I told you he just became the instrument in the hand of God. So I think the whole sum and substance of today's discussion is you don't become anything. You become in the hand of instruments of God. You become the instrument in the hand of God. Then he will decide whatever he wants to decide with you. A Tavala Prime Minister Vangyana Sao. Vangyana? But tension we need to do it. When time is right, we need to do it as a Prime Minister Vangyana. But in the end, 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 so you become instrument in the hand of God. How? Number one, repeat with me. Number one, imagination. Number two, number three, God bless all of you. We conclude this session now. Thank you, sir.